Hey, good afternoon. Woo, it is a cooker. It's one of them days you can throw a fried egg on your dash and throw a fried egg, throw an egg on your dash and come back out with a fried egg. Man, I'm a, I'm frustrated. Um, it's been something else. We've, we've caught the one hog right off the bat and really hadn't seen anything else. Seen a ton of raccoons. Got the same four or five deer coming in here. And uh, just hadn't turned out to be what I thought it was gonna be. And it, and I kind of thought in the back of my mind this might be the damage that's been done. If you go back and listen, I kind of thought there might be one hog doing the damage. But we have found another hog on here. And I did scout when I leave out of here and I've seen well over 60, 70, 100 head of hogs in this area. I just don't know if they're they're not using this because I'm just not getting it. Uh, the raccoons have been heck on us. Uh, I showed up today. I just need to check things out. I bought. I got a fresh, brand new bucket of French Khmer. That's right. So we're gonna dump some French, new French Khmer in here. I uh, got a new battery for the feeder, so it'll go off. Um, I've had some questions about us about the system, and basically. This is the gate. This is a little mechanism here that when you trip the gate that releases it and you know, the magic happens. But I'm able to get all the information on my phone and I, and I set the gate with my phone. So I've got command of that. Here's my camera right here. And I'm gonna make it a little bit of adjustment to it. I won't, I'm gonna make it a little bit higher up just not getting the view I, I can see but i just you know i'm, I'm in it for you guys let's go up here okay i'll check my phone on that view so the view is the landowner has been something else he has been calling me almost daily if if he doesn't call he texts and what's going on what are you seeing what's going to you know of course that thing tells me everything i need to know and i'm not seeing any pictures i see any pictures of all the raccoons you know on the deer just not seeing a lot of hogs and he just thought we were just gonna catch bukus of hogs and we just hadn't happened yet i i still think there's some hope but i don't hope it wasn't too much so he decides he's gonna help me out he brings his little trap out he got here at Osborne's and uh, he gonna help me catch some raccoons. <laughs> I just, oh, and he's calling me, he's riding my butt. He's, he, he's actually threatened to tell me to get my stuff to get off of here if I don't do, to get some, catch some stuff. If I get fired from his job, this will be the worst low and paid, low and lowest paid job I've ever had, and I'm gonna get fired from it. So I don't know. He's just he's acting weird. He's just all over the place. So you know that's what you get when you get to mess with a bunch of out of towners that expect magic to happen when they own a property. You know they they need to put somewhere in the description of so when someone buys a piece of property in Texas that. If it don't sting you, it'll poke you. If it won't poke you, it's gonna bite you. And we've got lots and lots of stuff that look at. We got all these mesquite trees, honey locusts. There's bull nettle around here. We got snaddle rakes, copperheads, water moccasins. I mean, you name it. It's it's here, and it don't like us. So just because you own the property, don't mean they're gonna leave. So anyway, I'll quit. I'll quit talking about him. He, he's a handful, but maybe one day we'll be able to have us a light cocktail and, and laugh about it. I don't know. I I can't. I can't read the guy. Actually, I, I hadn't. You know, he, he saw a couple of my videos, and he, you know, he's the one that seeked me out. You know, and I didn't. I told him I'm not going to charge you full price. I just pay my expenses. 
anyway okay let's get a fresh bucket of crunch come here we're gonna dump it in here i need to check the phone make sure i like my camera angle and what's going on there and uh hopefully we can catch some hogs i'm ready to catch another hog it's been a it's been a couple weeks now and this stuff is right that gosh it's right Okay, I like what I see with the camera. Well, like I said, the camera uses cell service and it sends me the pictures when it's activated. I'm gonna kind of walk, make a walk in front of it. It'll get me a picture. But, uh, there's our French Camille all mixed up, ready to go. Feeder's got a new battery in it. It's working. I gotta go, I'm gonna charge this other battery and put it on the gate because it'll be ready to be for a new battery in another week or two but but yeah sends me the signal i'm able to get my phone and check the notification and when there's pigs in here uh, the ideal is to wait till you get the whole sound in here and then once you get the whole sound in here you shut the gate um, so far i've just caught single boars now the other videos in chase's trap we've caught whole sounds on his uh, he doesn't have video. He's just got still photos, but it's pretty up to date by the, you know, within a few seconds. Uh, so try to make his landowner happy. I mean, I, I, I really appreciate him letting me come out here and him kind of pay my expenses, but you know, I just, I'm sorry. We're not getting the results that you were expected. I'm new to this. That's why when I was explaining it, you know, when I was talking about, you know, charging for this and all that, I just, people are like, oh, you need to charge for everything, all this, that, and I go, I, I get that, and I will eventually, but I want to get, get this, I want to get dialed in. I, I want to have a good product, a good service before, you know, I start charging for it. Uh, if they cover my expenses right now, I'm tickled to death with that. That's all I'm asking for. So, anyway. Let's uh let's get out of here before prime time hits and uh, see if we can't catch one of the old nasty hogs. So all right, hodge you a little bit. Well, I'm surprised it hadn't happened super. Happened hasn't happened sooner, but um, we got fired from our first hog trapping job. We caught the one. And the landowner just didn't just didn't like what didn't think we were doing enough. Um, I've I've got two hogs in the matter of two weeks. I've had two hogs on camera. One we got, and one we haven't got, and I ain't seen him since. Uh, even with as powerful as the French Camille is, they're, they're not here. And I, I kind of thought that when I when I first did my initial scouting trip on the place. I, I really thought there might be one or two boars that are nested up in on this place. It's only about 70 acres. Now, there's some great big grain fields around us. And the day we set the trap, when I went out the other way, made a loop over here in some dirt roads, I saw over 100 hogs. Uh, but there's other creek systems and areas around us in these green field, grain fields. So... I think them old boars probably had this place to themselves and then they'd go off and do their thing, making bacon, then come back and nest up here and not have to, you know, lay up with them other people. But my gut feeling was there's maybe one or two boars in here by the sign that I saw and all that. Um, and that's all I've seen. So anyway, we he he going another route. So he's he, he told me to come get my toys and go on i i don't know the guy the guy's pretty insecure i think he probably felt like i might have been scouting the place even though he hunts all over this thing i mean when would you have time to come in here and poach all his stuff which i don't do that anyway so we're loading up we got another spot we got a place we're going to a friend of mine has a place that's got a bunch of wild uh plums and this time of year they're starting to get ripe and 
do all that when they start dropping the hogs come in so we are going to move to another place and uh give her another shot so wish us luck i know it's some disappointment disappointment on my end but that's just you know that's the way way hog trap and go so hey y'all stay tuned we're gonna catch some pigs so y'all just hang on to your shorts we're gonna catch some pigs we're gonna have a good time so uh hopefully on the next episode we're gonna be setting the pen up loading some hogs after that so anyway all right y'all later don't forget to lock the hubs in take care